finally i was ready to say that hi i am bisexual and i am i am here i am queer sab main ladki se bhi shaadi kar sakti hu ladki se bhi shaadi kar sakti hu we have to try extremely hard to come out and say that yes i am a dalit and i am proud of it i used to get like trolled on instagram i used to get bullied by people because of my various identities but i thought that इनकलाब एक सपना नहीं हकीकत में तब्दील होना बाकी है इनकलाब एक सपना नहीं हकीकत में तब्दील होना बाकी है इस रफ्तार से मायूस ना हो ये जनाब अभी इस खून में जीने की चाह बाकी है हाँ अभी इनकलाब बाकी है हाय आई एम कृतिका आई एम अ नॉन बाइनरी जेंडर फ्लोड पैनसेक्शुअल क्वेर दलित पर्सन पर लेट्स नॉट इन टू लेबल्स दैट मच आई थिंक लेबल्स आई ऑलवेज फाउंड लेबल्स टू बी वेरी रिडक्टिव क्योंकि How do you encompass such a wide experience in four words? I don't think you can. But चलो story start करते हैं I'll tell my story about how I realized that about all of these labels. So I was born in Dehradun. Dehradun is comparatively a very small town. It's such a small town that you can fit entire the entire population of model town in Delhi in Dehradun. It is a small town. Uh, तो इतना एजुकेशन अवेयरनेस अंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं है देहरादून में बिल्कुल भी माय जर्नी स्टार्टेड बाय फर्स्ट ऑफ कोर्स गोइंग टू स्कूल एंड स्कूल में तो मतलब ऐसा था कि यू डोंट गेट शेम्ड फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बट यू गेट शेम्ड फॉर बीइंग हु यू आर लुकिंग व्हाट यू लुक लाइक एंड मोस्टली योर कास्ट इफ पीपल गेट टू नो योर कास्ट इट्स अ नाइट एंड दैट्स वॉट हैपन विद मी सो फर्स्ट लेवल ऑफ बुलिंग वॉज अच्छा तुम मोटी हो आई रिमेंबर विविडली वन ऑफ माई क्रशेज सेंग आई माई हेयर वॉज कर्ल्ड एंड ही सेड शक्ल तो चेंज कर लेगी बाल चेंज कर लेगी वेट का क्या करेगी माई हार्ट ब्रोक एंड इट्स नॉट अ नाइस थिंग टू से टू एनी बडी ऑनेस्टली बट आई मूव ऑन फाइनली फिगर आउट हाउ टू बी इन अ सेफ स्पेस इन स्कूल एंड देन पीपल गॉट टू नो अबाउट माई कास्ट कनौजिया सर नेम जो है बहुत ही यूनिक सर नेम है बहुत सारे लोगों का नहीं होता है बहुत सारे लोगों को पता नहीं होता है कि अच्छा किस वे वेर आर यू फ्रॉम ओ अच्छा तुम्हारी कास्ट क्या है ओ वॉट इज सो दीज क्वेश्चन आई हैव हर्ड ऑल माई लाइफ एंड देन वन ऑफ माई बुलीज फिगर आउट दैट आई एम फ्रॉम द दलित कम्यूनिटी एंड उसने सबके सामने बिना कुछ सोचे समझे ये बोला अरे धोबी एंड इट ब्रोक माई हार्ट एंड आई स्टार्ट क्राइंग so this is the level of bullying that happens in north india and the and the schools if they get to know about your caste kai log bolte hain ki exist nahi karti hai ye caste based things in india that's not true caste based cheeze exist nahi karti hai urban settings mein untrue then i moved on somehow uh, with the support of my friends i think friends play a very 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 important role in your life so we moved on and then i somehow was trying to forget this incident and i started dating somebody him and his family were of course upper caste and when his family got to know they came to my house and they broke us up saying ki tum choti jaat se ho bhai ghar wale kaise manenge to that 15 year old kid to go through something like this is harsh harsh this made me go so far back in the intro i am an extrovert through and through i have always been an extrovert but this made me go into this very small little bubble i stopped talking to people i was depressed and had it not been for my mother i would have never understood and i would have never been confident but then she told me one day kritika you have to get out of the bed you have to do therapy and you have to have to go to school i realized yeah and there's no shame in accepting that you need help so i went to therapy figured out a few things started going back to school started fighting my bullies and then stood up to my bully complained to my teacher action was taken and i'm forever grateful for that and then came college college is a new world you're starting a new life and uh, one of my friends asked me 
Kritika, have you ever kissed a girl? I said, no. She came and she kissed me. And I said, what is this weird feeling? What is this? Do I like women now? This is a new concept for me. And I realized that, yes. I do in fact like women. The next two years of my life, I just explored. I was questioning. I was so far in the closet, but still questioning and just existing. With the help of my queer friends, I realized my identity. And in college, I finally decided to take one bold step and present a deck called LGBTQ plus representation in cinema. My professor asked me, Kyu kya hota hai? Queer kya hota hai? I did not know. And I think it's okay if you don't know. It's okay if you don't know because you'll learn. And one of my queer classmates, they got up and they said queer means it's a spectrum. It's the umbrella term. And um, I was ashamed. They looked at me and they smiled and nodded. It meant that it's okay if I don't know. I will learn. And that's how it will go forward. Finally, I was ready to say that, hi, I am bisexual and I am, I am here, I am queer. Um, I came back to Dehradun and I decided that I'll go to the Delhi Pride Parade. My friend asked me, why Delhi? Let's do it in Dehradun. And that was how Dehradun Pride Parade 2019 came into being. That's how Vibgyor came into being. And we organized one or second of the Dehradun's biggest Pride Parade within seven days from all the permissions to everything. And that's when I realized I have to come out to my family. I made my mom watch a girl ko dekha to aisa laga. And she saw the film, she said, this is unnatural. I said, unnatural, 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 nothing happens. You have to understand it because you are my mom and I am bisexual. She said, okay, give me some time. She took her time, came back to me and told me, I accept you as who you are. I accept you as who you are is the most strong and the most beautiful statement a parent can say to their child, to their queer child. It's a beautiful sentiment. Then I decided I'm also going to come out to my extended family because my mom saying this gave me the courage to go out to my family. I went out to my family. I made them all sit down. They asked me, kya batana hai? I bola, mujhe ladke, ladke dono hai. They said, to. I bola, shayad aapko samaj nahi aara hai. Mujhe ladke, ladke dono hai. Toh, matlab, ladke se bhi shadi kar sakti hu, ladke se bhi shadi kar sakti hu. They said, okay. So, if you have a girl, she will be our daughter. To this date, I go back to this moment, rewind it back, and I still have tears in my eyes because it's such a heartwarming moment. For a kid coming out of the closet to hear, to kisi se bhi shadi karegi, wo humare bachche jase hoga, my partner, it's a beautiful sentiment. My family being supportive is the only reason I'm even sitting, standing here in front of you all telling my story. So, my story then transgressed a little bit into, Achha, hai, now I've come out as bisexual. I also don't want to lie to people about my caste. I nahi not want It took me so much time and so much courage to write that Dalit in my bio. And it took me years of unlearning that, what is the difference caste? Se ho? Kya fark padta hai agar tum achhe insaan ho? But the years and years of oppression as Dalit folks have faced over the course of time, we have, we have to try extremely hard to come out and say that, yes, I am a Dalit and I am proud of it. Because you've taught to be ashamed about your caste. You've taught that agar tumhari caste ka kisi ko pata chal gaya, to of course, it's going to be a problem. They are going to not accept you as who you are. And then, Life changed. I said, I am a Dalit. I'm not ashamed of it. And I'm going to put it out. I think Baba Sahib, reading Baba Sahib Abbedkar helped me a lot. Talking to my fellow Dalit queer people helped me a lot. Talking to Ambedkarite people helped me a lot. And that's when I realized I have to speak my truth. I have to come out as a Dalit. So I came out and things were not great. I used to get like trolled on Instagram. I used to get bullied by people because of my various identities. But I thought that I still can't go back to the closet because 
Shame is a wasted emotion. You can't be ashamed for who you are, your life. Then, my then began began the whole gender questioning journey. My pronouns are they and them. My journey with my gender has always been weird because I never felt like a woman. I never I was not raised as one because. my parents did not discriminate between man or woman so as I, i never felt like a woman and then i decided that you know what i am not a woman i think there has to be a better terminology for this i did not know the terminology of course sex education helped me there's a show called sex education it helped me and it helped me so much that i was like okay you know what i am non binary and it still didn't fit right because i was still comfortable with my body i did not have dysphoria a lot but then i realized that non binary and your gender has nothing to do with your genitalia it has nothing to do with the body that you're born in it is who you are and who you feel like you are my therapist gave me the word gender fluid i have also realized that i'm pansexual i used to go by the label of bisexual which meant that i was attracted to two or more genders Now I don't see gender. मुझे देखना ही नहीं है आई एम अट्रैक्टेड टू एवरीबडी बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि मैं थर्की हूँ ठीक है ये बहुत सारे लोग बोलते हैं कि पैन सेक्शुअल पीपल बाई सेक्शुअल पीपल शुड चूज अ साइड एंड शुड स्टिक टू इट एंड दे वॉन्ट मोर इसीलिए वो ये सब कर रहे हैं नो आई डो नॉट सी जेंडर बिकॉज आई सी यू एज अूमन बींग फर्स्ट सो दैट्स वॉट पैन सेक्शुअलिटी इज ऑल अबाउट आई लाइक द वाइन नॉट द लेबल एंड वेन यू आर दिस माइनॉरिटी it's very difficult to enter any workplace it is very difficult because you have to find the workplace who is inclusive and inclusive workplaces in india bahut hi kam aisi organizations hain jo itni inclusive hain i found one and i i was accepted for who i am i did sensitization sessions with the team the team accepted me and treated me as one of their own and i thought that that was a beautiful moment and beautiful thing for me but what happens when you're in this left circles is that they sometimes use you as a token so the token minority concept is real they use us as tokens they use us as ki theek hai agar koi ye insaan aayega to tum inke sath kaam kar lo that was I think very heartbreaking for me because even in the most accepted in the most liberal settings you are still being treated as a token you are still being treated as theek hai tum ho tum humse different ho but differences to celebrate hone chahiye to yahan aapne mujhe is box mein fir dal diya hai box se nikal ke fir dobara box mein dal rahe ho और फिर दोबारा दोबारा क्लोजेट में जाना पड़ रहा है तो क्या फायदा आई डोंट वांट टू बी लाइक यू आई डू नॉट वांट टू कंफर्म टू यू आई एम डिफरेंट एंड आई एंड आई वांट अ वर्क प्लेस एंड आई वांट अ वर्ल्ड व्हिच एक्सेप्ट्स पीपल फॉर हु दे आर एंड नॉट जस्ट एक्सेप्ट्स दे इनकल्केट देम इनटू द सिस्टम एक्सेप्टिंग समवन फॉर हु दे आर इज नॉट इनफ एंड दैट्स व्हेन आई थिंक द ललित एंड केएसएफ केम इनटू माय लाइफ बिकॉज़ सीइंग 10 people 20 people 20 queer people in your workforce changes you it changes you it gives you so much confidence to accept who you are to be who you are and to be free and to still work and be passionate for your cause so workforces have to be have to be inclusive there is no other way for it to be to the young kids and to the gen z folks who are now entering the workforce if you are queer if you are non binary if you are any person from the spectrum if you are from any minority if you are from any marginalized community do not settle for less you will always find opportunities you will always find people and you will always connect with people who treat you well who treat you as one of their own who accept and celebrate your differences that's what my message is to young people and younger people is that be who you are it's going to be difficult it's going to be hard 
but there is no other way to be.